I love the fact that we've got a utility sink in the basement, a double utility sink at that. A lot of houses today don't come with this. You, you would have to ask for it if you wanted it. And uh, originally this sink had just your regular top-mounted utility faucet, just a brass thing uh, fed from above. The pipes just came straight down the wall into the faucet. And uh, I put in this pull-out utility sink. It's actually called a laundry sink faucet. It's basically a kitchen faucet that's made for the four inch spread of a um, utility sink because a standard kitchen faucet wouldn't fit and it's not good quality it's plastic but it works and the pull out feature and the sprayer is really handy uh, but the other thing I always thought would be cool to have would be a touchless uh, faucet like one of those foot pedals like you see at a doctor's office and I know today you can get a kitchen faucet that's motion activated and that just wouldn't be enough work for me so uh, this this foot pedal is made by Sandy Lav, and uh, it's surface mounted, it bolts to the floor, but you can see it's just on and off, there's no hot or cold. Well, you don't want to feed it with straight hot, you don't want to feed it with straight cold either. Ideally for washing your hands you'd want something in the middle. So you can do that with a tempering valve, or you can do it with a shower valve. So that's all that is. I just extended the, the hot and cold rails down the wall and under and you can see we pick up the um, the lines from the uh, faucet there I didn't put shutoffs down here or uh, angle stops as they're usually called because there are shutoffs up at the top and uh, and then we continue into the shower valve down to our foot pedal over this way soldering copper piping is kind of fun once you get in the groove. We've got our air chambers there. This comes up over and when you buy a shower valve it comes with a shower head so why not, right? So got the touch-free soap. Got the foot pedal. And I've got paper towels here to dry my hands but I thought you know, since I've got all these air moving machines laying around, why not repurpose one of them? So I took a uh, relay control box from a Pullman Central Vac. Power comes in above, and there's just a relay and a transformer in there, standard Central Vac circuit. And uh, your control wiring goes down to a momentary push button there. And then plugged into the relay box is a motor. This happens to be from a Newtone VX550. These motors had problems with the thermal protector shutting them off after only a couple minutes of use. Uh, so this motor only runs for a couple minutes. It had to get replaced. But it's perfect for an application where it's not going to run more than about 20 seconds. So I took this motor, bolted it down using the um, uh, peripheral exhaust section of a different motor so that it could still be clamped down uh, and still be able to suck air in through here to the impellers. Out the exhaust, I'm going to put a panel on there just to control the noise a little bit. Uh, but we're coming down here. Again, used central vac pipe and fittings because one of my design criteria for any project I do is that it can't cost actual money. <laughs> if I can build something with whatever I have laying around, then I will do that. So. Uh, and then we have a nozzle on the end that's made from just a piece of central vac pipe that's been heated up and flattened. Could have done that with metal pipe too and just hammered it down, but this was a little easier. So when you push that foot pedal, and of course I just realized after setting this up that the water pedal's on the left and the dryer is on the right, where the water is on the right and the dryer and nozzle is on the left, but oh well. Might move this over, maybe. But uh, anyway, when you push this down here, turns that on. So, water and and unlike one of those wall-mounted hand dryers at a gas station bathroom, this actually works beautifully, and the water that comes off your hands goes in the sink instead of on the floor. So, 
Now I've got to figure out a way to do this in a more uh, finished kind of bathroom and maybe have this recessed in the wall. I'll work on that.